Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here then welcome to my world. So in today's video I thought I would give myself some questions to answer now and then again in a year's time and then I can sort of see if there's any differences or what changes there have been in my life because I think we're just so focused in like the day to day running of the life like we forget to like reflect and look back over the year so I just thought it might be a bit different. Before the video starts don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you do like what you see. Feel free to check out my main channel as well where you can see what goes on in my day because I have a lot of random moments. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. Are you wearing the same outfit? Because if you're not, go put it on and see if you look different. And also, don't forget to put your hair like this because you never bother with your hair drawn videos. <laughs> and yes, that is a little argument I'm having with myself. I thought, you know what, I'm actually going to put it up. I don't care if it looks odd, I'm just going to put it up. <laughs> Have you dyed your hair yet or have you just left it the same because I'm considering dyeing it but I don't know if I suited when I had blonde hair. You'll have to go over to my main channel and look from like first videos where my hair was blonder. Like this is literally the ends of dyed from like two, three years ago and I've just never got around to doing it and obviously the last year I haven't been able to so did your hair look any different or did you just leave it natural? <laughs> Are you still enjoying making YouTube videos? At the moment, it's my passion, it's what I love and it's interesting to see if I still do in like a year's time because I've been doing it for over a year now and honestly, it's just getting better and better each day and the community I've got is so supportive. So is there still a community? Has it grown? Is it even bigger? How many subscribers have you got? That's a lot of questions. We'll just put it under one bracket. <laughs> How is university going? It's tough right now. I've got a couple months to go and then this year is done. Next year you've only got one module to focus on instead of two. So one year's worth of work and I'm looking forward to that. How did it go? It, obviously the year hasn't finished yet by the time I answer these questions but how is it going? Have I got to do a dissertation? Is it hard? Have you even looked at it yet? Because currently I don't look at things until like the week before. <laughs> Do you have any next steps? Do you know what you're going to be doing after uni? I'm thinking I've got to go on to do my doctorate for child psychology. I don't yet know. I'm hoping next year it will be clearer. So is it any clearer? Have you applied for university for the following year? Because you ain't going to be with the OU any longer after that. <laughs> do you still have the same job? Obviously this is one part of my life that I do keep private and don't tell people where I work on the internet just because it's one area of life that I can have control over on for the internet. I've probably given it away in previous videos but that doesn't matter. Like I'm not, it's not a big deal if people know where I work, it's just I do prefer to keep that side of it a bit more private. So are you still working at the same job? Have you changed jobs? Have a different opportunity came about? Do you even know what's going to happen when you move away to uni? Any of these things? Am I still single? So, yes, I'm st currently single. Obviously, that's obvious from the question. But are you still single? Have you met anyone? Like, I literally know no guy friends currently. I doubt I will have met any in the next year either. I'm guessing it's not to like go away to uni that I'll actually meet people, but you never know. You don't know who you're going to meet. So, I'm going to assume I'm still single. <laughs> Random question, it's been a year since I last dislocated any part of me because there's a few parts that dislocate. Has it happened again since in this last year because I'm currently loving life without these dislocations but I know I'm going to put my foot in it and something will happen so has it happened since and i still got to go to physio? I haven't been to physio for a year so have I had to go back? Please say no. <laughs> Is COVID still happening? Like what's going on? What's the situation? Currently we're in lockdown, about to come out of lockdown in a couple of weeks time. So what's the situation now? Have we had to go into another lockdown in the past year? Did things get worse? Have they got better? What's going on? If you could live anywhere, where would it be? Currently I would love to live in a city. 
and just experience city life. So obviously when I go away to uni I'm hoping to get into one in a city just so I can experience the life there because I live in the middle of nowhere, I live in the countryside, you don't meet people, I am the only person my age really that lives around here. So if I can move to a city that would be amazing. I mean it would be a massive step for me, like a big one, <laughs> like even more than massive, but I would love to move. So maybe Cardiff or London, just somewhere like that. I mean my dream would be to go to America, but I think that would probably be more of a holiday than a place to live. <laughs> what has been your proudest moment in the past year and why? So currently I would say that my proudest moment is YouTube. Honestly the support I've got from it and the community, it's building the views, the subscribers. To some people a hundred or subscribers for my main channel may not be loads but to me that means more than anything because these are people that have followed my journey, are still following my journey and they're just so supportive, everyone is so lovely so massive thank you to everyone who's watching but some people get millions of views and it's not all about the views it's about the community and the support that I receive and that I give out to people what is my hair doing? there we go yeah it's definitely YouTube and I know that I talk about it a lot like I don't want to be known as the girl on the internet with selectomutism but those videos that I do about selectomutism get so many views for my channel and it means so much that I'm helping those people even if it just helps one person that's one more person that's helped that's going through the same situation as I do and to know that people aren't alone so that's it for the question guys hope you enjoyed if there's any other questions just in general that you want to know about me comment down below or dm me on instagram that's absolutely fine and i'll be sure to answer them in an upcoming video i've got some very excited ones coming up so stay tuned for that don't forget to subscribe give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'll see you on monday on my main channel bye